Hi, Eric Gibault, ericgibault.com, and today I'm going to present you the most crazy lens I've ever tried. This is the Maker 3.5mm f2.8, and it is a fisheye lens that makes circular pictures. Let's start. So, first of all, thank you to Maker. Uh, many of you have been asking uh, if I could uh, review alternative lenses, uh, cheaper lenses or different make. And I contacted several uh, brands and one of them, Maker, answered in, the, in three days I had the lens, this lens in my hand and said, you can try this and see if you like it. So I'm not getting paid for this review. They do give me the lens, so I thank them for that, for it. But uh, I still say whatever I want. So let's speak about it. So what's in the box? Well, it's not the first time I open it, obviously, because I made a picture before, but you get some uh, commercial information, a microfiber cloth, which is really useful to clean the lens, uh, some uh, information, a small uh, pouch so you can keep the lens and the lens itself that is uh, properly uh, protected in the box this probably box which stuck like this okay this is full metal full metal 100% metal except the back uh, cap which is logically in plastic the front cap is also metal it's completely metal as you can see uh, it's the aperture ring and the uh, focusing ring is really smooth. As you can see, this uh, lens is really like this. It's 3.5 millimeter equivalent to seven millimeter in full frame. So this is crazy. It covers 220 degrees. So it sits behind the lens. So uh, it means you get circular uh, lens, uh, circular pictures which is incredible. I speak about circular photos. Depending on the camera you're using, I use the Olympus OMD EM5 Mark II. When I do video, there's a slight crop, so then it was not circular, it was a bit cut. Well, you see it here, I'll show you a sample. It was cut at the top and bottom, but otherwise you get circular picture. This is for micro four thirds, okay? So, uh, as you can see, the, the focusing ring is really smooth. It focuses from uh, 9 centimeters up to 20 centimeters and then goes to infinity, okay? Uh, why? Because uh, it's such wide angle, so uh, it's really when you close you need to focus. Afterwards, you're already in hyperfocal and that's it, it works, it's really okay. The, fo the aperture ring goes from 2.8 up to f16. As you can see, there are no clicks, okay? Honestly, as a photographer, I would prefer to have clicks, but I understand why they didn't put clicks, because actually uh, that lens, you can use it uh, for uh, pictures and for video. But when you have a lens like this, in video, it's impossible to mount ND filters. So normally, if I would do like some kind of panning, maybe I would need to have a viable ND filter. And this is impossible, because you would see my finger or you would see the, land, the filter mount anyway. So the only way is to play with uh, the aperture. So if you want to do it on the fly, you really need something to be continuous and no clicks. So I understand why they decided to do no clicks. So uh, when you're going to use the lens, make sure as photographer uh, not to, to accidentally move, uh, sorry, the ring here, uh, make sure to not accidentally uh, move the aperture ring and that's it. They cannot do everything for you. You have some, to do something sometimes, like taking care of not touching the aperture ring, okay? And um, this is a manual focus, it's not autofocus, it's fully manual, but on mirrorless it's really easy to use anyway, uh, because you can have focus picking, all this, so it works fine. I mean, actually focus picking is so short that you don't actually need to activate it, that's okay, okay? But although uh, it is uh, everything in focus really uh, easily and fast, uh, I did manage to get out of focus part, like uh, I show you this sleeve, I, the leaf was about that far from the lens, okay? So it was, yeah, about nine centimeters from the sensor, that far from the lens. And one time I, I actually touched it, okay? And I did get out of focus in the back, so you can still play and get uh, your uh, uh, unacceptable bokeh. I think it's nice, it's, uh, it's not too harsh, it's a bit creamy, it's, that's fine, okay? And if we speak about sharpness, well, sharpness is hard to estimate on that kind of lens because uh, with 220 degrees, there are things that are really close to you and things that are really far from you. So it's hard to say. 
On 2.8, I think the center is fine, is acceptable. And when you get to F8, F11, everything is in focus and uh, sharpness is fine. Uh, make sure uh, here you treat an infinity here. Uh, if you pass it, it's like it, it's not as uh, in focus as much. So uh, don't pass, don't go over infinity. It's here and you get everything sharp. That's fine. I think sharpness is fine. What's difficult with this lens? Well, the most difficult part is uh, you look like crazy when you're actually using it because uh, it's such wide angle, 220 degrees, that it's really easy that you see my hand and fingers or beard and feet or feet. So you have to be like a crazy uh, way of holding. I hold the camera this way, okay? And push it a bit forward, lo lo looking on the screen and then pushing. You have to keep your hands out and feet and the tripod or whatever, because of the way you will see it. And uh, so I looked a bit crazy doing that, but when you get used to it, that's fine. Here you see it mounted on uh, my Olympus YMD AM5 Mark, uh, uh, Mark, <laughs> Mark II, okay? So actually you would need to hold your camera like this, okay? As I said before, take care with the strap and take care with uh, everything, your feet, all this. This is a small, it's really small. Here you have the focus, focusing ring that is really smooth. Here the aperture ring. So you see, it's really cute on this. Uh, just uh, make sure how you hold it. Actually, I looked at a review that compared this lens with uh, the Lawa uh, 4 millimeters. First, the Lawa 4 millimeters does crop a bit at the top. It's not completely circular. And second, um, it's shorter lens. So if your camera, your micro four third camera has a grip, you actually see it on the picture. In this case, as it's, uh, it's a bit longer, uh, it's fine. You don't see the grip of all, if you put your hand, yes, but otherwise you won't see it. So that's really fine to use it, okay? But you really get a bit crazy the way to hold it at the beginning. And what you can do is to be part of the picture. You want to see part of your face or your feet, whatever I mean, you decide, okay? But using it, it's really, really fun. Another thing that was a bit difficult for me is like, uh, if you do landscape, uh, it covers so much degrees that you get really hot, top sky and then a dark floor. Well, not always dark, but in my case, it was dark areas. So it's really hard to have uh, everything properly exposed because you have really high dynamic range from the bottom to the top. You have the maximum you can imagine. But you realize that the top and bottom uh, will be uh, so small that even if it's a bit uh, overexposed in the sky, you won't actually notice it in the final picture, okay? Actually, the picture I show you, they were rectangle with the, the circle in the center, so I reframed it in square to leave out the rest, okay? But uh, I think uh, the way it looks is brilliant. It's really fun. As you can see on the outside of the circle, you actually get like some fringing and color, uh, funny colors, which is not that lens. I think it's any kind of fish oil like this uh, because uh, the way the light is uh, hitting the lens, that's normal. This is not um, something you cannot solve in post-production. You simply uh, recut the circle or place a, a dark mask on it. But well, it's really easy to take this out and it's really not a problem. I didn't edit that part because I wanted you to see uh, the reality of what you get with the lens without any tricks, whatever, okay? So no problem with that. So who do I think this lens is for? Uh, I think this lens is uh, for people who want to have fun first, but I think you could use it like people who make picture of uh, pets. They could have this uh, funny uh, picture of a pet like a caricatural or from, from people also. You see a picture of Claudia Reyes uh, dog, okay, Molly. And uh, it's funny to have this, that kind of picture. And uh, actually you can check our YouTube channel, I'll leave you the, the address in the description. Not of Molly, but of Claudia Reyes, okay? And uh, I think you can use it for architecture also. You can use it for uh, landscape, for anything you want to be really creative. With this lens, you really become really uh, a different photographer. Why? Because the easy, uh, the, the way you use it the first time, you try to frame as you would frame with a normal picture, the horizon, horizontal, and that's it. But then you realize that it's coming out circular. So actually you could twist the camera, do crazy things, and then, then you actually use the things around you in a different way. You don't try to uh, make a picture of what you see, you try to make a picture with what you see, to use it as an ingredient and uh, get into your, uh, your picture 
and what you see is actually not as re irre uh, it's not as uh, relevant it's not you don't try to make the perfect landscape you try to play with this landscape or with that person with this indoor or this church or whatever and make some crazy things with the lens and i think this was crazy i, I never used a circle of fish eye before in my life i used a fish eye on my iphone a sandmark fish eye i tested and i never used that on a camera and I had seen pictures people doing this and I didn't realize how much fun it was to make the picture with this. It is really fun, okay? But as every extreme lenses, uh, there is a drawback. I mean, it, it, it's like if you, for example, you, uh, you have a bag of sweets and you eat the first one and then the second one, then the third one, and then after 50 sweets, you've like, I, I ate too much sugar. And it's like, Ugh. okay. But that's normal because these are extreme lenses. So if you use it when you want and sometime and not all the time, except if you have a specific project, I think this is great to uh, add to your bag, especially for that price. I mean, uh, I'm really surprised how much it costs. It costs $159 or 150 euros. Uh, this is really cheap. I mean, if you compare to the Olympus 8 millimeter, that doesn't give you a circular uh, picture, but it is fisheye. Uh, it's more expensive. It's true you have autofocus. It's one you haven't, but still, I think uh, I would not pay much more for a lens I would not use all the time. But for that price, I would have it as a fun lens and sometimes do crazy things. Like even if you're a wedding a reporter, a photographer, you could actually uh, lay it back on on the floor and ask the bride, the groom, and some uh, guests to be around you, and you. Uh, put the camera on top of you and you will see a circular picture with all the faces for example some people have used that kind of lens uh, for astrophotography there is a 6.5 millimeter for APS-C also you can actually use it and uh, the use for astrophotography you see the whole sky everything part of the land around you this I could not make that picture because it was no I could not go uh, to an area with sky open sky without cloud all this but you can really have fun with that uh, with that lens and really uh, it's different. I mean, I don't know if I can uh, explain. You see, I'm enthusiastic about it, but it's hard to explain. But I, it's really funny. So I think you could use it also for architecture, for uh, people. It's just be thinking a different way. I think it's a great lens to uh, be creative and trying to see the world in a different way, try to see photography a bit different than uh, many of us normally do, okay? So as a, 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 an add-on to your bag, I think this is great, a great lens. I can only recommend it. The build quality is stunning. So I, I really hope uh, Maker will send me more lenses because I want to try more lenses from them. So actually this circle uh, picture, how could you use them? Or you can publish on the internet, whatever. But they are also, I went to Ikea and I saw that circle of frames. So you can actually print them, then cut your picture in circle and then place it in a circle of frame. And that would be great uh, uh, as a decoration in your house or sell it or whatever. I think that even if it's circular, you can still uh, use it in real printed life okay so that would not be any problem so yes i deeply recommend this lens i thank maker for trusting me and sending me the lens uh giving my honest opinion they let me tell whatever i uh, i want and i thank them for that i thank you for watching the video if you feel it may interest other people please share it on social networks if you have not done it yet please subscribe to my youtube channel the small button down here is a small bell if you click on the bell get notified when i upload a new video my website ericgibo.com if you have any question, can leave a comment below. I'll also leave you links of my gear on Amazon. Obviously, links to where you can get this Maker Lens. Links to other parts of my YouTube channel. Also, a link to my PayPal account in case you wanted to make a donation. Thank you very much for watching the video. Please take care of yourself and see you soon. Bye.